fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the light blue trunks with dark blue trim and weighs 209 and one half pounds from Schenectady, New York. As a professional, he's four, four, and one. Let's hear it for Mike Robinson. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with red, white, and blue trim. He weighs in at an even 209 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City with a professional record of 13 and 0, 11 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Tommy, the Duke Morrison. So there's a look at Tommy Morrison, the grand nephew of John Wayne. Here go the nickname, the Duke. Don't go off to the refrigerator here, folks. Mike Robinson will try to fight back to the forum that saw him put the land shark out of the boxing business. And oddly enough, Robinson did not even remember that fight this morning. I was going to say, you had an in-depth conversation with him today. <laughs> At least six words. That's right. <laughs> but that is pretty revealing that he wouldn't remember his biggest highlight here. How could you not remember that dorsal fin do? <laughs> Morrison misses with his first left hand that did manage to clear the mosquitoes out of here. You can see Morrison... Probably a bit more of a chance to get his man out of there than Robinson. Robinson's had a tough time his last two fights. Morrison's no nonsense. And you'll look for an explosive left hook from him as the punctuation punch. It's been his best so far in his young career. He is being handled now, incidentally, by Bill Caton, who, of course, you are familiar with from the Jimmy Jacobs, Bill Caton, Mike Tyson triumvirate. Caton saw a videotape as a courtesy to a friend of Tommy Morrison and liked it because of the left hook and went out and scattered him and took him over. Heavy-handed puncher Morrison. Good body shot, body shot, back to double Robinson up. It's got to make you so wary as a fighter when someone with the power of Morrison is bearing in on you because you know you cannot afford a mistake, even a borderline mistake. Morrison did some good body work here in this first round. There was the left hook and it hurt Robinson who doubles up. Morrison wisely goes back to the body. Robinson just trying to get out of trouble and get through the round. And he doesn't have the mobility to get out of the way here, and he's a sitting duck. Morrison, very heavy-handed. Looks a little bit like Jerry Cooney, the way he throws his left hook and leans over and gets maximum power into that. Punishing body shots by Morrison. Robinson's about done, and he's still got 30 seconds to get through this round. Morrison just doing a great job of the body, and Robinson goes down. And before that happened, it lent credence to the phrase, out but not down. Absolutely right. First round not over yet. Morrison has 10 seconds left. It won't take much for a big right hand. And Robinson is in trouble again. Robinson somehow got through the round. And that's a situation where the new rule where they pound the canvas to let the referee know there's 15 seconds left in the round. With four minutes there, the referee Steve Smoltz has, as you mentioned, a cumulative effect. It wasn't any one punch that put Robinson down. He was in trouble again in the last 10 seconds. Robinson gets a quick right hand off. But takes a huge left by Morrison. This is only a question of time here. And another big left hand, and Robinson's in trouble again. I think we'll see a little bit of the Tyson mystique here. Because of what may happen, you can see the referee step in. Robinson's still in trouble. Blood from the nose of Robinson now. 
Robinson just trying to get out of the way. Takes an uppercut. Slurger will step in in just a moment here. This isn't going to go too much further. And the problem is that Robinson just doesn't have an answer. It's one thing to be in trouble if you're a powerful puncher. But if all you can do is move back into the passive shot, very dangerous. Well, Mike Tyson always uses the terms throwing, term throwing punches with mean intention. And that's exactly what Morrison is doing here. Bad intention, he says. Big right hand, once again, Robinson in trouble. But what you're seeing here is a fight where Morrison really hasn't been forced to extend himself by using a job. Other shots like that, he can just walk through Robinson. But it's a showcase, it's his biggest so far. Yeah, it is. Robinson right on the button of Morrison. So even though that punch didn't hurt, Robinson has shown an ability to get there, and that's something that other fighters who may take on Tommy Morrison in the future will certainly go to school off. Robinson showed that he came here for a reason, at least. Huge body shot, and down goes Robinson. Proud booing, but those are some really tough body shots. Wicked shots, and near the kidney area, it's the kind of thing you wake up the next day and you might have a broken bone. Steve Smoker wisely stops this fight. And Tommy Morrison has a second round TKO. Just a lot of punishment taken by Robinson and really there was no reason for this to go on. The outcome was not going to change. So Tommy Morrison now running his record to 14-0 with 12 knockouts. 